Hi, it's Samantha Alford here from Inbound Add-ons. I just wanted to show you quickly how quick and easy it is to set up sending text messages from our add-on inbound SMS. Um, and just wanted to run you quickly through the process right from the moment that you sign up through to sending a, a text message. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just going to select inbound SMS from our homepage here. Um, so once this uh, clicks through, and view the add-on. And now that I'm there, I'm basically going to scroll down to the bottom to the pricing. Uh, now we've got all the information on the site, so it's at inboundaddons.com slash inbound-sms. Otherwise, just go to the home page and click on the slider. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is buy now. And in this case, I'm just going to pop in my details. And now you need to make sure that you select, please add my subscription for 19 US dollars per month. And then you need to decide which bundle you're going to get. In this case, I'm going to buy $20 worth of texts. Uh, now pop in your credit card details. So you'll see there that the total amount to be charged to your card today is 39 USD and then $19 per month after that. But obviously if you need to top up your texts, then you'll pay for those as you go. So in this case, I'll buy now. And the next piece of information I need um, is to pop in your details for the configuration and connect to your HubSpot app. So it'll pre-populate the details that you've put in the form previously. Um, I'm also just going to put in the nominated email to receive text message reply notifications. So this is when you actually receive a reply to one of your uh, text messages. Who do you want to be notified in your business by email that, th that there has been a reply received? Um, then we need to pop in our hub ID um, and I'm just going to grab a hub ID here. And the HubSpot API key. So we need to grab that as well. And to do that, you just go to your profile, integrations, click on your HubSpot API key. If you haven't generated one before, there'll be a button here that says generate key. In this case, I'm just going to view it. Pop that in here. And then what you need to do is to uh, select the country that you'd like to send the text messages in. In this case, I'm going to select Australia. Um, also, you can select the United Kingdom. In the United States, because the way that um, phone numbers are set up for mobile phones over there, you can actually specify an area code if you want your dedicated mobile number to come from your particular area code. Uh, if you leave that blank, you'll just get um, allocated any number. So I'm going to go with Australia and submit. And what happens now is when you submit that um, that information, we populate your application with um, a sample workflow as well as a, a, a custom property group and a custom property for your inbound SMS functionality to work. So that's all there is involved in the setup. Let's go in now and actually send an SMS message. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is to actually send a text message. So when you sign up to our service, we automatically populate your application, your HubSpot application, with a sample SMS message workflow. Um, so you can use, you can create your own workflow with these components if you like. Um, we just set this up so that it's really easy for you to actually get started. So all you need to do is decide what enrollment criteria you would like to have um, people in your list or contacts enroll in this workflow. Uh, in this case, I'm going to manually enroll them just for the purpose of the demonstration. Um, but as with any workflows, you can nominate how people come into this workflow. Then what we do is we set the contact property SMS text message. And the reason we do that is the contents of that property is actually what gets sent as the SMS. So in this case, I have class starts at 2 p.m. Um, so, uh, you know, let us know if you'll be there. And then I'm just going to save that. And then basically what we do is we trigger a webhook. So that's how we actually send the SMS. Now in this case, it's a post method. And once you actually sign up, we'll give you the URL to post that method to. Um, and that's all you need to do to actually send the message. So all I'm going to do now is enroll a contact into this um, or a list into this um, workflow. And you will hear my phone beep as soon as the text message arrives. 
So in this case, I have um, a list called send text message. In this case, there's only one contact in the list just for the purpose of the demonstration, but there could be 200 or 300 people in this list if we wanted it to be. So I'll click enroll. And there's my text message. So basically, um, what I'm going to do now is show you what happens on the contacts timeline when a text message is sent. So this is the contact that was actually in that list. I'm just going to refresh their timeline. And you'll see here that um, on today's date, a text message was sent which says class starts at 2 p.m. Let us know if you'll be there. Um, so you can see that that goes straight into the person's timeline. Now, in this case, we've asked them to let us know if they'll be there. So I'm going to reply to that text message with yes, I will be there. And that message has just been sent. And in a moment, we'll see that come up on the timeline. So I'll need to obviously refresh the timeline for that to pop up. Um, now, what also happens um, when that message is sent is that I will receive an email to the address that I nominated on that sign up form to receive email notifications of uh, text message um, receipts. So I'm just going to refresh here now. And you can see that the text message has been re received or SMS message has been received. In Australia and the UK, we call them SMS messages. I know in the US, um, you don't tend to call them that. It's a text message. So um, I will actually change this to say SMS text message received just for our US uh, customers to save confusion. And you can see the content of that message. So I'm just going to pop over to my email and you'll see that there's an email here. Now, in this case, it says it's from me because it's my own account that I'm sending it from and two um, but, it, but it would normally say from inbound add-on support that you have received a text message to your dedicated sms number and uh, that in the in the sub uh, content of the actual message it says actually who it, who it's come from so that you can actually look up their contact record in hubspot you've received a text message from mark their email is and their mobile is and the message is, yes, I'll be there. And it's just a prompt here to say, to reply to this message from your dedicated number, please log into HubSpot, add the text you wish to, wish to reply with to the SMS text property and activate your workflow to send the message. Um, so that's actually uh, another workflow that we create, which I'll show you in another video uh, to reply. But basically, that's how quick and easy it is to send text messages from inbound uh, SMS. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, reach out to us on the Contact Us page um, on our website uh, and we'd be, be happy to answer those for you. Uh, we hope that this actually makes your life a whole lot easier when it comes to sending text messages from HubSpot. Talk soon.